down four. Scheduled for 12. For Bernard Hopkins, middle white title. Defense. Hopkins up top. Manipu down the body. Mostly, there's a short, right chopping hook from Vanderpool. Glanced off Hopkins' jaw. Vanderpool, Vanderpool's a physical guy. He is. He should be trying to push Hopkins around. But Hopkins, Hopkins is the one pressing the action right now. Remember the first couple of rounds, he was walking around, backing up, seeing what the guy had. Now he's going after him. Slam, slams the right hand against uh, Vanderpool's head. I can see, I can, I can see Hopkins go to the body because I think that's where he's going to chop down Vanderpool. Vanderpool's the bigger fellow. I'd like to see a little more movement out of Hopkins too. Head a little more movement. I think that head would movement or, or foot movement. Foot movement. Uh -huh. Because I, I think that would uh, throw Vanderpool off. Because Vanderpool is fighting in spurts. Yeah. And you get him off balance, I think he could then be in trouble. Make it, make it, make it, make it. My break, my break, guys, my break. Come on out. Come on out. Because he's not real close. No. no. Little side to side, little angle. It's true. I think you, you have to come in a fighter like Vanderpool from angles rather than straighten his face. Because while he's trying to adjust to you, you pop him and you move again and he can't get you. Well, again, the crowd is growing restless. <laughs> it's good action. They just want to see more. Hawkins has picked up slowly. Yeah. Picked up the momentum. I think it's because Vanderpool is slowing down a little bit. It's early in the fight. He was going all at him early. Hopkins uh, dropping that left arm. It seems to be the style of a lot of fighters. Nice short inside work by Hopkins. Trying to go to the body. And he's making Vanderpool miss. Yes. Round four action. As we come down to the Vanderpool walked into a left hand that time. The end of round four. When your first name is Armor, it's clean and shot. Round five. Coming your way. Got it even, 38-38, gave uh, Vanderpool the first two rounds, gave Hopkins the last two. I know Kirk, he's good. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Come on. Uh-oh. Well, uh, Vanderpool is not a graceful fighter, and, and uh, as we talked moments ago, Hopkins has to get him off balance more by moving. I think he's, he's doing that. He's, He's coming more forward right more. hand. Yeah. Good right hand. He's in and out, side to side. He's picking up the pace. Get off the ropes. The animals will just be bullying him and, pu and punch him to the body and trying to chop him down. But Hopkins just landed a good right to the midsection. I think Vanderpool is now trying whatever he thinks might work. Kind of early to be throwing out the game plan A, but if it ain't working, I guess you got to. Hopkins, little by little, taking the fight over. Yeah. Nice, nice cut to good side by Hopkins. Sneak that right yeah. in, right? Yeah. Pizza. And, and those body shots are going to force Vanderpool to uh, drop his defense. Vanderpool's starting to go backwards. I mean, now he's coming forward, but he, for a second, he's, he's maybe he's a little unsure of himself. Well, yeah, I think Hopkins is starting to uh, adjust and show why he's the best middleweight. I mean, it's, it's nice to have talent, but you have to be able to adjust him, as you said. 
You see different styles. You can fight a softball a little different than an orthodox fighter. He took a couple of rounds off just to, to learn his style. Vanna pulls off and strong. Charlie bounces uh, some punches off. Nelson's shoulders. Hopkins is timing his, his, his rushes inside that he's he's smothering uh, Vanderpool. Catching his punches on his on his arms and his, on his the side of his body. What, what, what is easy to miss is that Hopkins comes in and lands a good shot to the midsection, and then you get a flurry from Vanderpool. And, and you almost don't see the body shot that happens through. Right. Is that fun in there now? Final seconds around five. He's got a good shot on. Hopkins taking over here. He's going to into the ropes. Out of bounds. Doesn't have very good footwork, though. though Hopkins kind of helped him along, but uh, not very, very smooth on his feet. Round six. The halfway point. Bernard Hopkins in the dark black trunks. Known pound for pound as one of the best fighters in the world. At the end of that last round, uh, you can see him just smiling and pumping his fist. Said he's getting close. Well, his corner told him, don't get careless. Because he started to get a little uh, overconfident there near the end of the round. Yeah. And I noticed the look on Vanderpool's face. He was starting, had that doubtful look on his face. Not as confident as he was before the bell rang to start the fight. True. True. Nice little right on the break. The thing Hopkins does, he wears you down. And he's uh, allowing Vanderpool to spend himself and, and count. Hopkins known as the executioner, right? To me, he just wears you down. Does the right things tactically well. Doesn't mind taking you out late. He sees an opportunity early, he'll go for it. But he prepares himself to go a long way. Inaccurate. You're not going to yeah. see. You're not going to see him throwing wild punches like that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a couple of body shots from right. Vanderpool. That's Vanderpool's fight to stay on top of Hopkins. Well, they ought to cut the ring off. Yeah, keep him in the corner. He's got the power to do that. That's the takedown, right? But he's, uh, he's not graceful. Hopkins just uh, sliding around the ring. Smooth fire. Sticks the right hand in, moves out, comes back, slams the left. The game pulls. Good section. That's what uh, Vanderpool's corner wa wants him to do, is to jab him. There's a count of left from Hopkins. And Hopkins is keeping himself close enough that Vanderpool can't use his jab. As they say, Hopkins is fighting his fight. Yep. There's been more takedowns in this fight than you'll see in a wrestling match. That's the second one. 
final seconds of round six. No doubt about it, the is strong. I can take down the fight. Nice chopping punch by Hopkins. You're going to hold me, I'm going to hit you, but he lost balance and he went down. Look at Hopkins. There's the veteran. He's got him. One, two. <laughs> Couldn't get another one in before the takedown. Hopkins springing across the ring. Round seven. Bernard Hopkins defending his middleweight championship for the 11th time. A couple of right hands from Van Der Poel. He's a good left hook to the ribs by Hopkins. He's been doing that for a while. Six, I got it 58 56 to uh, Hopkins. I gave Vanderpool the first two rounds because Hopkins basically was trying to figure him out. It's been all Hopkins since. Vanderpool is, uh, is a brawler. He's a brawler. And I think Hopkins, he doesn't care if it goes 12 as long as he wins. I think Vanderpool realizes he can't win a decision, but what do I do to avoid that? And he's got to throw some hard punches, just because he's not accurate. Look at Hopkins spinning him around. Vanderpool didn't move, he just went around them. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know, these folks are, are booing, but I don't think they understand Bernard Hopkins yeah. and what he's doing. Uh, and they fight. Fight affectionados will tell you that Bernard Hopkins is just slowly picking this guy apart. Now, Vanderpool's powerful. He's powerful. He's wild. And if he happens to land one, then Hopkins uh, is going to be on the, you know, La La Land. But Bernard Hopkins, oh, is that a low blow? He's claiming a low blow. I didn't see that. Hopkins is right now. He's, he's faking. There's a hit from the left field. The Pacers did lose to Philadelphia today in the NBA playoffs, and Hopkins is from Philadelphia. Uh, maybe the fans are smarter than we thought. <laughs> That's good. good. Pretty good point. Oh, good right hand from Hopkins. Good right hand. And oh, Vanderpool man. getting well. Grabbing, grabbing. Hit it. Now it's a brawl. That's what the fans want to see, I guess. Oh. He's picking him apart. Ah, third takedown. Final seconds, round seven. Vanderpool looks more like a light heavyweight. Yes, he does. Oh, just missed it. <laughs> well, having words. Now, Vanderpool's wasting time when he could be over in his corner. Well, he knows he has the crowd behind him now. Maybe that's what he needed. See Hopkins pounding again. Oh, those are like look like low blow taps. <laughs> they are. Oh, that was. <laughs> well, he was hitting him on the side. He was. Second takedown. That wasn't even a Royal Wrestling Federation move. That was Greco Roman, I think. <laughs> 